Um, my name is Sharon Blackburn and I'm involved with NCPC as their National Advisor for Older People. Um, I've been involved with NCPC um, in a, for about three years. Um, formerly I was MD of a care home group, not-for-profit care home group, and I was, I've been involved in the Dementia Working Group project uh, for people at the end of their life. And then latterly I now work for the National Care Forum and in that role NCPC was able to secure some of my time on a more formal basis. Um, NCPC in my view is a really influential body um, representing um, members, subscribers across the whole sector um, whether you're a health authority, whether you're in social care, whether you're in a for-profit or not-for-profit organisation. They're influential in terms they have a, a real powerful voice, um, particularly at government tables, um, and that's both national and local government, as well as uh, bringing that policy um, and translating it into practice. So they really are in touch with people who use services and uh, actually come from a perspective of being really person-centred and relationship-oriented, which I think actually gives them the edge because they, they walk the talk, they go the journey from the person who is at the end of their life, irrespective of their formal diagnosis and their condition. Um, they see the person and not just the uh, medical diagnosis. Um, they provide a whole range of literature, so I think in terms of their experience, they are a, um, a credible organisation and one which we're really proud to be associated in, in a professional uh, capacity but also a personal capacity. I think what's also strengthened my involvement in our relationship is that um, they're a strategic partner with the Department of Health as is the National Care Forum and that means there's a lot of synergy in what we do. Um, National Care Forum is a member-based organisation, so there's a, a, an audience there um, of which National Council of Palliative Care can engage. Um, and they provide a lot of resources for people, for staff. So it's not just about people who use services and their families, but it's also about the people who provide services. And there's a real synergy in how they make literature accessible. Their literature is well-researched. Um, it's seen as being um, a real powerful source of information because it's not just opinion based, um, it's informed by data, data which NCPC collect um, and which then informs and directs policy and practice. So I'm, I'm really proud to be associated with them and anything I can do to sort of to help them get that message out there about providing good end-of-life care irrespective of the disease or diagnosis. Um, particularly at this point in time, with all the policy change that's going on, uh, dementia is, has to be one of the, the key conditions that is considered in the context of end-of-life and really understanding what it feels like for the person um, with dementia at that end stage and their families and really capturing um, that it should be the best experience possible. So NCPC are really working hard to try and achieve a good outcome and a good quality of life for people um, that are in that position.